Okay, hi there. Here's a short video looking at how changes in demand affect producer surplus. Surplus is the difference between the price producers are willing and able to supply a product for and the price they, they get in the market, the revenue they get in the market from, from manufacturing or growing a product. And we show the amount of producer surplus by the area above the supply curve and below the price. That assumes that the firm gets the same price for each unit sold. Let's take an example here. Let's assume there's an increase in demand for uh, bottled drinks, including hopefully those made using recyclable materials. So let's assume there's a strong demand, increasing demand for bottled drinks in retail stores and grocery stores and so on. Think about the consequences for the manufacturer here. Uh, there's our initial equilibrium where let's say the price of drinks is B and the quantity bought and sold is D at the equilibrium G. So there's a big increase in demand, which of course reflects the fact that more people are willing and able to pay for these products. So D1 shifts out to D2. The consequence is that the market price will go up from B to C and the quantity bought and sold will go up from D to E. An outward shift in demand causes an expansion up and along the supply curve from G to H. So there's a new equilibrium price of, of C and a new equilibrium quantity of E. But what about the impact on the producer? Well, Initially, the market price is B and the quantity bought and sold is D. So producer surplus, the area above the supply curve, below the price, is the area B, G, F. What about the new level of producer surplus? There's been a shift in demand. The price has gone up to C. The quantity sold has gone up to E. Can you think about the new area of producer surplus? Maybe press the pause button on this short video and just double check your answer. Then we'll go through it. So the producer is now selling more and getting a, a better price for their products. You'd assume that producer, producer surplus goes up, and it does. It goes up to CHF, which is an increase of BCHG, a trapezium there. Because the producer is getting a better price for their product and they're selling more, yes, the marginal cost of production has gone up, uh, we move up the supply curve, but they're now getting a higher revenue and effectively a higher profit from selling more in the market. So an outward shift in demand will cause an increase in producer surplus. It actually also causes high consumer surplus because there are more people in the market willing and able to pay. And if they pay price C, well, some people are willing to pay, pay price I for those drinks. So that's a bigger area of consumer surplus, which is area ICH. So there we go. Changes in demand and producer surplus. I hope you found this useful.